Hello and welcome back to Football Daily, where today we're making 11 of the best signings of the 2017-18 season. Goalkeeper, Edison. In another season, Edison might have had a claim to be the best goalkeeper in the world, but unfortunately for the Brazilian, Ter Stegen and De Gea have produced impossibly good performances this year. Still, the stopper has played a key part in Manchester City's success, keeping 15 clean sheets in 34 matches and making around two saves per goal. Given how few shots City face, this means Edison concedes roughly three goals for every four matches, a record which stands up to Guardiola's best Barca and Bayern teams. And his distribution has transformed the citizens, as he completes more passes per 90 than any keeper in the Prem, making him the equivalent of a cultured centre-back in build-up play. The former Rio Ave star, still only 24, now has three domestic titles in three years. And with the trust of the world's best coach, you'd be foolish to bet against him adding another one in 2019. Defender, Nordi Mukieli. Second player in and we're already cheating. Nordi Mukieli joined Montpellier from Laval in January 2017, but has been a mainstay for La Payada at the age of 20. Born in France to Congolese parents, Mukieli cost Montpellier just 1.5 million euros and has missed just two games so far in this season's Ligue 1. The youngster can play as a centre-back or right-back, and his arrival has coincided with a huge improvement of the side's defence. In 2016-17, Montpellier conceded 66 goals, or 1.7 a game, while this season they've let in just 30 in 34, or 0.9 a game, meaning that they have a positive goal difference despite netting under a goal per match themselves. Their defensive record is second best in France to PSG, and Michel de Zakarian's team have kept 13 clean sheets compared to 7 last term, while only allowing 10.2 shots per game, the lowest number in Liga. Mukiaeli wins possession more than 4 times per 90 and even manages to create a chance and complete a dribble every match. No wonder Manchester City and Tottenham are already targeting the French youth international. Defender Milan Skriniar Much like Montpellier, Inter Milan have seen a huge defensive uptick this season with Luciano Spalletti conceding just 106 goals in his last 111 games as a coach. This year, the Nerazzurri have allowed an amazing 23-34. The joint second-best tally in Italy with Scudetto challengers Napoli, and two goals better than Manchester City in the Prem. But Spalletti has had help in the form of Slovakian centre-back Milan Skriniar, who cost just 20 million euros from Sampdoria. Freshly turned 23, Skriniar is a 6'2 monster of a centre-back, whose athleticism means he can also play in midfield. He wins the ball back three times a match and completes over 60 passes, the most at his club, while maintaining a staggering 91% accuracy with his distribution. That means that Inter have gone from conceding 1.3 goals per game to just 0.7. And Skriniar's market value has risen from just under 10 million euros to over 40 million euros in little more than a year, thanks to the interest from Barcelona. Inter are lining up a new contract for the youngster, and it's not hard to see why. Defender Jordan Amavi A feel-good story for you now with French left-back Jordan Amavi. Formerly a Nice trainee, Amavi got a big move to Aston Villa in 2015, but suffered an ACL injury, sidelining him for seven months, during which Villa got relegated to the Championship. He spent the 16-17 year with the Midland side, regaining form, and after rejecting a lucrative switch to China, he returned to his homeland with Rudy Garcia's Marseille side in 2017. The Olympians are on track for their best points tally since 2009-10, powered by Florian Tovan and Dimitri Payet, but Amavi is still shining too. Still only 24, the left-back has produced six assists in the league, making him the second most creative defender in France after Dani Alves. And his knee problems look like a thing of the past, with nearly two dribbles completed per match at a strong 60% success rate. Add to that 14 clean sheets in 34 games, and Marseille looks set for a return for the glory days. Keeping Amavi could be crucial to continuing the trend. Hold up, wait right there. Are you subscribed to Football Daily? No? Then click the red button down there and you won't regret it. Midfielder, Jadon Sancho. OK, so Borussia Dortmund's Jadon Sancho has played just 400 minutes in the Bundesliga this season, but the Englishman already looks a typically smart acquisition. Signed from Manchester City for just 8 million euros, Sancho only recently turned 18, but caught the eye in 2017 after winning the Under-17 World Cup and being named the player of the tournament at the Under-17 Euros. Clearly the wide man has no shortage of confidence, scoring off with Guardiola over his game time before taking Usman Dembele's old number 7 shirt and his numbers back up the hype. Sancho has scored or assisted 4 Bundesliga goals so far, one every 104 minutes and is creating 2.3 chances per 90, the best tally at Dortmund 
after Gonzalo Castro. Most importantly of all, Sancho's bravery in leaving the comfortable position in England shows that he wants to play and learn. And arguably no club in the world can rival the Schwarzgelben for their faith in youth. Expect an explosion next season. Midfielder, Ruben Neves. The only man in our team currently playing in the lower division, Ruben Neves had had a spectacular campaign with Wolverhampton Wanderers. Once attracting interest from Europe's biggest clubs, Neves has seen his star wane, while Porto's financial difficulties prompted agent George Mendes to engineer a shock transfer to the Midlands, leading some to write the Portuguese international off as a failure at just 21. But once again, Manchester United and Barcelona are sniffing around, as Wolves seal promotion with four games left and Neves made bossing a rough and ready league look easy. The midfielder has shown flair for the spectacular, netting six despite only three of his 87 shots coming from inside the box. His metronomic passing has kept Wanderers ticking, with Neves second in the championship for completed passes and top among the outfield players for successful long balls, with 65 more than second place. A Champions League player in the Championship, Neves is primed to take the Prem by storm. For the second time, he's become one of the most coveted young footballers in the world. Midfielder, Pascal Gross. It's estimated that a Premier League goal is worth around €2 million Euros in 2018. So Pascal Gross, who cost around €3 million Euros including add-ons, has paid for his transfer fee nearly tenfold. After scoring six goals and assisting another eight in his maiden campaign with Brighton, Gross joined the Seagulls from Ingolstadt with some pedigree, having created the most chances in the Bundesliga last season despite his club finishing second from bottom in the division. This year, he ranks joint fifth with Eden Hazard for laying on scoring opportunities, behind only De Bruyne, Ozil, Eriksen and Fabregas, and has been involved in 44% of Brighton's goals, all but ensuring their survival, and another €124 million Euros for the club's coffers. All this means is that you could argue Gross is the best value signing of the season, and at 26 years old, the German could help establish Chris Hutton's side permanently in the English top flight. Midfielder, Neymar. It was inevitable that the Brazilian would end up in R11. Despite only featuring in 20 of PSG's 35 league games so far, Neymar has still been involved in 32 goals, with 19 strikes and 13 assists. This means that across Europe's top five leagues, only Messi, Salah, Cavani and Immobile have contributed more in domestic play, and all of those stars have played around a thousand minutes more than the 26-year-old. Neymar's 7.1 dribbles completed per match is the best on the continent, and he ranks fifth for chances created and eighth for shots taken. Thanks to their 200 million euro superstar, with three games to go, PSG have already scored 23 more goals in Liga than they did last season and wrapped up the championship with five fixtures to go, bringing Neymar his third title in four years. Rumours abound that Real Madrid could look to poach a superstar, but with performances like this and Messi and Ronaldo both over 30, Neymar will hope that a good World Cup and a better injury record could finally bring him the Ballon d'Or. Forward, Mohamed Salah. We've run out of things to say about Mohamed Salah, except we told you so. Last summer, we named the Egyptian as the player to watch, after he bagged 15 goals and 11 assists in Syria with Roma. The former Basel man had taken or created 5.5 shots per game, and was the star of the Giela Rossi side which finished second and outscored everyone but third place Napoli. This year, Salah has attempted or created 6.4 shots a match, a big rise, and only Ronaldo, Kane and former teammate Edin Dzeko have taken more shots and goal from inside the penalty area, showing that Salah is now a full-fledged striker. At the time of writing, he's one goal shy of setting a new Premier League record with 32, and just 180 minutes away from lifting the Champions League in his debut season. All this and the Chelsea reject cost Jurgen Klopp €42 million, Euros, about a quarter of the fee the Reds gouged out of Barcelona for Philip Coutinho. Hold on to their star and the Scousers could finally end their wait for domestic glory. Forward, Christian Stuani. Hilariously, spellcheck nightmare Christian Stuani spent two seasons at Middlesbrough before signing with Girona in 2017. In his time in England, the Uruguayan scored just 16 goals in all competitions, a tally he has bettered after only 29 appearances in La Liga in 2017-18. With investment from the City Football Club as well as Pep Guardiola and his brother Per, Girona have built a squad for the future, the sixth youngest in La Liga. Stuani is only one of four teammates over 30 and has excelled up front, scoring 17 of the Catalan outfit's 46 league goals. That's 37%. 
He also wins a massive four aerial duels a match, and from the seven shots Girona take from inside the box each game, Stuwani takes two of them. Hitting double figures for the fifth time in his career, the veteran looks set to lead his new club to a top half finish in their maiden campaign in La Liga, just 12 months after suffering relegation with Middlesbrough. Forward, Mariano. Mohamed Salah is the only new signing to have scored more league goals than Mariano's 18 this season. The Dominican international switched from Lyon to Real Madrid for 8 million euros in 2017 and is the French club's top scorer, as well as adding five assists in all competitions for Lagons. A late bloomer at 24, Mariano is picked up where Alexandre Lacazette left off without missing a beat. The Arsenal forward netted 27 times in Liga last season, but 10 of those came from penalties, or just one of Mariano's has, putting the player level on 17 strikes from other situations. And though Lyon's front line is more fluid than ever, with Fakir, Depay and Mariano interchanging, the newcomer is clearly stand out when it comes to getting chances, with only three players in France having taken more shots than him. Already a league and Champions League winner thanks to his time in Madrid, Mariano could have acted like he has nothing to prove, but instead has blossomed into a hard-working and intelligent young forward. If Lyon could keep their promising squad together, they could challenge even PSG, and lift their first title since 2008. Congratulations, you got to the end of the video. Your prize, another lovely video. And as always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.